This buggy attractor pattern can help you catch more fish. To tie it, we'll start off with some olive thread. Continue wrapping until you reach the bend of your hook and grab some green synthetic dubbing. Align the fibers and secure them to the back of the fly. Continue securing the synthetic fibers forward until you reach your hook eye. At which point, we'll snip the excess free and cut our tail to length. Next, we'll grab some small wire. Here I'm using green, as well as some clear, hollow tubing. Insert the wire into your tubing and secure it by inserting it into the bead and wrapping it tightly to the hook shank, continuing to do so until we reach our tag, at which point we'll reverse our thread's direction and create a smooth body wrapping towards the head of the fly. With this complete, we'll grab our wire and tubing and begin to wrap this forward in closed touching spirals. This is a cool technique that creates an interesting segmentation and will take on the color of whatever underbody you decide to place below it. Continue to wrap it forward until you reach your thread, at which point we'll secure, taking thread wraps both in front as well as behind and snipping the excess free, at which point we'll whip finish, snip our thread free, swapping it out for a fluorescent orange thread. We'll then grab some more dubbing. This time I've mixed in some copper, green, and olive. Create a dubbing noodle and wrap this just behind our bead, saving a little bit of room at the head of the fly and then brush it out to give it a nice, buggy look. Once complete, we'll create a dubbing loop and grab some squirrel dubbing. Insert this into our dubbing loop, spin it up, and begin wrapping it around the head of the fly, brushing the fibers backwards as you go. Secure with your thread and snip the excess free. Whip finishing to add a hot spot to the head of our fly. Snip your thread free, and this is an attractor pattern that I love to use for pocket water trout. It doesn't mimic anything in particular, but agitates water and attracts attention. And adding a small midge behind it can be a deadly combination. Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one.